we're going to look at how to connect your PayPal account to a linked checking account uh, using the following bank uh, demo tra transactions here. So let's begin. You can first pick up on the bank feeds under the transactions banking tab. And in this example, we're going to sp specify the March 24th, 2021 transaction for $199 to MGR. So would you observe that we've got two transactions happening in the PayPal account. We have $199 of money coming in. And currently, uh, QuickBooks is predicting that it's a sale. And that's a big mistake. We, this is not a sale. It says added from, from bank account here. So we'll leave this alone for right now. Uh, let's review that we have $199 expense going out and our bank detail explores the, the name of the vendor. Okay, so these are two transactions that hit PayPal, money in, money out for the exact amount. So now we need to go to the corresponding credit card or checking account, depending on which account you've set up to link to the purchases of your PayPal. In this example, we're connected to checking. So I'm gonna click on the checking account and we're gonna see an identification of the date um, the dollar amount confirms and what we can do here is we can select that row to open up and we can read the bank detail it says paypal x for mgr so we're right on the track here that this confirms that this is actually the transfer for that corresponding transaction. Now, depending on your bank, you might see other notations for the transfer. Some might have PayPal kind of buried inside the middle of a long string of text. Some might just say transfer to checking account or with you know, transfer funding to bank account, checking account. There's a number of ways that it can say it, but your job is to identify basically a triangle of three transactions. On one point, you have money out, and then the other two points of the triangle, you have a transfer of money going in and out. So I recommend that you begin first by recognizing which is the first of the three that actually was the purchase. So let's do that first. I'm gonna go to the PayPal account, and select the $199 going out. And from here, uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to create a vendor. So MGR as a vendor, and then select the category that the purchase was for. So in this scenario here, it is professional services, so we'll leave it as such, and then click Confirm. Okay, if we were to run our income statement, we would see $199 expense under the professional services category. Now we need to make the transfer to link the $199 coming in to PayPal and the $199 coming out of PayPal. So uh, there are a couple ways you can do this. One way would be to go and create a transfer by clicking on the plus new sign, selecting transfer. We could come here and we could say that money was coming out of the checking account and into the PayPal account for 199. And then here we would just want to make sure that we correctly identified the date. So this will get the job done. We'll do a save and close. And at that particular point of time, we ought to be able to look inside the transaction by clicking on it, and you can see the transfer that matches. And so the, that is exactly what happened here. So in our case here, we're gonna be confirming the match of the transfer by selecting confirm. Don't forget that when you're done matching up on the first account, go to the other corresponding account and match it. So in this scenario here, it's found the match where we can go ahead and confirm it. And that is how you properly record an expense out of PayPal 
and match its corresponding linking account from the checking account or the credit card in your situation.